Hi, I'm Pat Coleman. I'm here in Platteville, Wisconsin, where the uh, University of Wisconsin Platteville defeated Buena Vista this afternoon by the score of 38 to 3. And we're debuting this season on D3Football.com, what we're kind of informally dubbing the D3 Report, where you guys can do what I'm doing and what hopefully Keith McMillan is going to do at his game later tonight. Uh, give us a little bit of the feel of your game, a feel of what it's like to be at a football game on your campus. Uh, it's not getting a credential. We don't want you to be on the sidelines. We're up here in the stands uh, doing stuff like this. And just give us your brief rundown of the game. Now, I have a, a copy of the stats because I was in the press box for this game on, on a wet afternoon. Uh, that's certainly the, the place I would prefer to be. But I would say for you guys, nine times out of ten, you could probably get uh, quick stats off of your phone, uh, off your uh, mobile device, and, and get a, a quick game wrap up to us that way. We're looking for about two to two and a half minutes at the most. Not looking for you to interview anybody. We're not looking for you to ask anybody for access to the field of the sidelines, to a player, or to a coach. Just give us your take on the game. What, tell us what it's like to be at a football game on your campus. And most importantly, tell us what happened uh, this particular afternoon. And on this afternoon, here in Platteville, it was uh, almost Platteville, all Platteville, from the get-go. Uh, Buena Vista rotated a pair of quarterbacks and, uh, and struggled to a 12 of 30 passing. Buena Vista couldn't get anything going uh, in the run game against Wisconsin Platteville, and uh, Platteville uh, ends up with the 38 to 3 win going away. Uh, Darren Blazer with the uh, the big day on offense, receiving wise for Platteville, seven catches for 88 yards and a touchdown. Most of that in a uh, big uh, flurry for the Pioneers in the second quarter. Later tonight, I'm going to do this from another game. We will be at the. Uh, University of Wisconsin Whitewater UW Lacrosse game. We'll do another quick segment there. And then Keith McMillan is at the uh, Shenandoah uh, Stevenson game as Stevenson plays Division Three football for the first time. Now, your D3 reports are going to be more about the game, and mine was more about telling you what to do and how to do it. You can uh, post it, you can email it to us, email at info at d3sports.com. We will take the good ones, or the best ones, or even all the ones that remotely qualify, and we'll put them in a playlist on the site for people to view along with other highlights and the, the rest of the video coverage from the weekend's games. So this is a D3 report and I hope to see it on D3football.com.